What's up guys, Daniel here and today we are looking at the Steve Series Apex M750 keyboard. Now in the box you do get the keyboard obviously and they come with risers as well. And you do get two different heights so you can choose whichever one you like or which one is more comfortable for you. Now for the keys on this keyboard, they use their own QX2s. Now for the design, it looks a bit similar to their older keyboard, the M800. While the logo and the sides are very similar, but it doesn't illuminate. Now for the overall design on the keyboard, I would say it looks exposed. It may look weird to some people, but I guess the big pro is it's easy to clean. I would also like to mention that taking the keys off and exchanging them, it's very easy to do and it's probably the easiest one I've ever done on any keyboard. Of course, this is an RGB keyboard that lights up, but I want to go back to how exposed this keyboard is. Now, it may be bothersome to some people because this thing leaks light a lot. Some of you guys might not like the look, or it may just bother you while you're sleeping. That is, if you leave the keyboard on overnight. Again, this keyboard uses QX2s, and for pressing the keys, it's fairly easy to press. You don't really need to apply too much force, and if you have heavy fingers, then you might set off a skill or something that you might not intend to do. So be mindful of that. This keyboard does give you multimedia keys and buttons to lower and brighten your LED settings. So to use these keys, you have to hold down the Steve Series button and then you can press on any of these keys. Moving to the software, I would say this is the most funnest part because you have so much options and so much lighting effects you can do on this keyboard. So you do have your basic LED light where you can just pick one color and have it light up or you don't have to be basic and pick these cooler animated LED effects. It's nice that they include a lot of different ones and they even allow customizations on certain effects like the wave where instead of going back and forth, you can set it from up and down or the opposite direction. Another cool feature is C-Series do include three active keys. When you press any key, something happens right after. There's a bunch of settings for that and you can choose the speed. There are cool effects and you can make the keyboard look very chaotic. There are a key binding tab where you can assign any key to anything. You don't have macro keys, so you can't really have a lot of functionality there, but still you can assign any key to whatever you want. And in the settings tab, you do have basic options there like your pulling rate and LED brightness level. Now it doesn't stop there. You have a lot more options in the engines app where you can sync up everything if you have other Stu series gear. You can link up to Discord, CSGO, Auto Visualizer, and you even have the new image sync where you can import any animated GIFs and it can match up with your keyboard. Now they do give you a couple examples, but you can always make your own. I think it's a fun idea to implement and just kind of make it feel like this is your keyboard. You can kind of customize it any way you want, especially when you can export your own things, your own GIFs into your keyboard. Now they've done this in the past with their mouses with the little LED screens on the side or on the bottom and you can import whatever you want. So overall, I think this is a good keyboard. So there are some things that may knock off some people because of how exposed it is or how much the light leaks out of this keyboard. But the biggest impression that leaves me on this keyboard is its lighting effects. The software is very easy to use and you can export whatever GIF you want on this keyboard and the reactive effects which makes the keyboard fun to use. So I'm going to end the video with me typing on the keys. It will give you an idea how it sounds. So if you like this video, like and subscribe and always enjoy your entertainment.